Alright, we are back with another episode uh, Rule the Ways, and we are also back with quite a bit of budget. And I thought about, uh, about that for a while now, what to do with that budget. And probably most of you will hope to see a new battleship, but I guess that's not going to happen. At least not uh, in this probably year, what is it, November? No, certainly not in 1912. I designed a new light cruiser. Now that's not the light cruiser uh, that I was talking about. I was just having a look at the old Flensburg class. I actually designed the Bremerhaven class. Now I auto designed the ship first or let the ship being auto designed and then started to tweak uh, a bit with the guns and all the other design specifics off camera but this is uh, the result. Basically, it's uh, a state-of-the-art light cruiser meant to screw with the enemy destroyers. So you have 11 5-inch guns and 12 3-inch guns. Uh, all of them have, have a quality one, meaning that our 5-inch guns currently have uh, have a higher quality and higher penetration values and accuracy with their use than our 6-inch guns. And we really have a lot of them. Uh, so we're probably going to put a big hail of lead an explosive filler on enemy destroyers. Uh, the armor is better than on our Flensburg class, if only just uh, just a bit. We are two knots faster, we have 18 inch instead of 12 inch tubes, so it's an overall upgrade from our old um, Flensburg class, as you would expect 10 years or even 12 years after the Flensburg class has been designed for the first time. Now I will build two ships in parallel, that would make 1.8 million in uh, mark plus another 1.8 million in development cost. That leaves us with 1.2 million. I would like to build a few subs uh, from that money. And let's build five. That would make uh, a total of uh, 1 million high mark per month. And I think that should serve us quite well. And after that, we will probably build another battlecruiser of the Magdeburg class and then start to consider building a new battleship. The reason why I don't build a battleship right now is uh, that I don't see another nation that is currently building a, uh, a battleship of their own in that size department. Now I know we should gain the initiative by building the biggest battleship now and stay on top of the development, but uh, I mean we started out pretty far behind and uh, we we shouldn't forget the basics of fleet building, in my opinion. So that's uh, the building program for now. Uh, otherwise, we can now decommission and scrap one of the Dresden class ships. Because if I remember correctly, our task force arrived now in Southeast Asia. Yep, it did. And the Dresden class is now officially being de at least one of the Dresden class ship. The Dresden is now being decommissioned since it has been replaced by one of the Eckernförde class armored cruisers. How many days in class ship do we have in service anyway? Still four. It's a lot. That is actually quite a lot. Did we forget to decommission another one? I don't think so. I don't think so, but we will slowly decommission them uh, ship by ship. Okay, let's hit the turn button. There has been an internal upheaval in Albania. If we send an expeditionary force to restore order, there's a chance that we can take it over as a colony. The risk is increasing tension with Italy considerably, and other nations might also have objections. We will stay away from that. I don't think Albany is worth it, or Albania is worth it. Oh, crew quality suffers. I've never had that uh, event happen, but that's a good thing to know that sending ships with cramped accommodations abroad is not a good idea, but we'll leave it uh, where it is right now. France has been laying down a new ship of, um, of the battlecruiser type. Let's have a look at the Hamburg. It's now down to fair, but yeah, that's, uh, that's life. I 
our guns are pretty much superior to 9 and 10 inch, in 10 inch guns from the Italians. Actually, let's have a look at the Comet power comparison in Southeast Asia to France. I don't think we need the Hamburg here, so we should probably just send it back. Move ship. Northern Europe. There you go. One of our major shipyards is short on orders and is offering us to build another unit of the BC Magdeburg class in 27 months at a 10% discount on the total price. <sighs> that would leave us with a deficit of about 3 million a month, I think. But we would need the ship anyway. Let's do that and see how long we can sustain that. I mean, quite a lot of things can happen until we hit the uh, the zero mark on our bank account. You're due to hold a speech at the annual gathering of the Navy League. What will, will be the gist of your speech? The seas should be kept peaceful. We are prepared to safeguard the interests of our nation against any threat that may arise. The freedom of the seas is threatened by the imperialistic ambitions of. So we could uh, now enter war with France, I guess. Would that be a good time? I would say yes. I think we are currently superior to the French. There we go, we are at war again. It didn't take too long, to be honest, uh, from the last war. Destroyer action. Enemy France. Location Texo. Battle size 2. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, let's see. So these, these are only destroyers. Fine. If I remember correctly, we have a bunch of 3 inch guns on the Z4 class. They are fleeing. I'm not intending to go fast to stay on top of them. Yeah, I might as well just abort the chase. I'm not too interested in any kind of destroyer action here. I want to save my destroyers for the big engagements. I need them to put torpedoes into other capital ships instead of messing around with smaller destroyers. Wow, U10 is overdue and presumed lost. That is bad. But U10 was one of our very old uh, and already obsolete submarines, so in the overall picture, that's uh, still alright. But they still got a few more victory points than us, probably because they sunk the submarine. Commissioning more destroyers. The UK just uh, laid down a new battle cruiser. Alright, we definitely want to put some ships uh, into patrol duty. Coastal patrol, 18 ships, so that should make our waters pretty safe. And on top of that, we have our three merchant raiders that we send out to raid French shipping. Yeah, I shouldn't have clicked that away too fast. There was some kind of gun quality improvement. Our submarines sink a total of five ships. Six, nine, 
10. <laughs> so we sunk 10 uh, French raiders, uh, merchant ships. Coastal raid. And that seems to be us in the offensive. And that's going to be interesting. Let's have a look. Still it seems to be quite a small, yeah, that's a very small raiding force we have here. So our objective is probably to sink any any two ships. That's really not the best raiding fleet we could have had in my eyes. So let's just Yeah, and one of our destroyers has less than 50% fuel remaining. I mean, come on. So we only have one of our Leipzig class armored cruisers here in action, the Friedrich Karl. Very experienced crew. Four destroyers in a screening formation. How much time do we have? It's already quite late too, so this is really more than uh, more than problematic. Nothing to be expected here. Let's go to very fast and try and make the raiding fleet sail some sort of search pattern. Since it's night now, we're trying to get a bit closer to the harbor. And we spot an unknown ship. Okay. Seems to be quite big. I don't know if that can be a... Um, transport ship. But we're going to investigate anyway. So we have a considerable secondary battery on the ship. I mean, it's at least existent. I'm just checking that in case of... Uh, I mean, we are very close now already. Actually, in that case, let the Friedrich Karl sail in further to the west and use our destroyers to investigate uh, the contact. Yeah, this is indeed a transport ship. And it seems like we already sank it pretty much. Yeah, no chance it will survive that. I hope we don't hit our destroyer with that torpedo. No, we didn't. Okay, that was a very quick engagement. Let's send the uh, destroyers back. It's raining and we have a strong breeze and so uh, this is just the worst possible engagement. I don't know why that destroyer detached, no idea. Nothing happening here. I have no idea why the destroyer is going gung-ho just as much as uh, this destroyer 
this destroyer's behavior is, in my eyes, unexplainable. I should have at least the option to intervene. Now the th another destroyer detached without me knowing why. Yeah, let's try and sail away. Day breaks. In that case, let's go in for another sweep. Let's pick up the survivors. And the French actually got a marginal victory out of that. That is very disappointing. We are again sinking. We are being blockaded. Well, that's that's bad news. So the enemy has actually more VP than we have. Convoy defense. Okay, let's start that scenario. And this looks like a much bigger engagement. Sort of. Not really. Again, a light cruiser, an old one, the Friedrich Karl, and a bunch of merchant ships. Let me just put the Tethys under the control of the Friedrich Karl, which it is already, so let's just put it under AI control and give it another role, and that would be support and take that destroyer division and tell it also to support the Friedrich Karl. And then we tell the Friedrich Karl to go max speed and try and intercept the French ships. Let's see if the Gazelle Gazelle can find out what we're up against. Looks like a scout and something bigger is trailing behind. So we see a whole bunch of small caliber guns and now the gazelle is coming under heavy fire let's put this ship let's put this ship in a core roll for the Friedrich Karl try to get it out of harm's way Yeah, we're actually up against another battle cruiser. Yeah, we have no chance to beat this ship. We don't even have a unit available in this battle that could possibly, potentially, destroy that ship. What time is it? <sighs> Quite a while to survive. That's really bad. That's just incredibly bad. So look at the so no hit until now. Let's try and draw them away from the merchants. type of armor do we have on that ship? So if we want to, we can go in for, for a suicide run and hope that their 6 inch belt, which is really not much, gives in before our ships 
in particular the Friedrich Karl suffers too much damage. But they are at the advantage by default. 14 inch guns and more than we have our 10 inch guns. Yeah, there's basically no way to win this. Absolutely no way. But at least we scored a hit on that ship. <laughs> I just hope it hit something. Something that hurts a lot. We can try to drive them off with our destroyers. We have heavy structural damage, a turret is destroyed, and then just after two heavy hits. We can consider ourselves lucky that we didn't have a, had a flash fire in one of the, the ammo magazines. <sighs> Let's see what our destroyers are capable of. Their destroyers are trying to intercept our destroyers. Our merchant fleet is already quite far away, which is a good thing. They are wasting their torpedoes on minor targets. That's obviously not a good thing. Yes, and there we go, a big torpedo spread. So we drove them off, a minor success, a tactical success for now. It's, yeah, we have really bad damage on this ship. This one is doing okay. This one also, so we're probably going to lose at least one destroyer. So let's try and catch up with our merchant fleet.
dead they all. Okay. How fast are they going? Five knots? Oh, night is falling. That should give us a big advantage. We're lucky enough, even the heavily damaged destroyer will make it. Okay, the weather is uh, getting worse, also something that I very much welcome. We could if we wanted to reorganize our forces, but yeah, it's too late anyway. Okay, we have a heavy damage on a destroyer, medium damage on the Friedrich Karl. But for some reason they get more points again, though we fulfilled the uh, the objective condition. I have well, that's honestly a bit frustrating. I don't even know why they can blockade us. They have far less ships than we have. Okay, uh, at the end of the video let's have a look at the newly commissioned US battlecruiser Lexington. 25,000 tons, cross deck fire design, 8 gun broadside, big secondary and tertiary battery, quite a strong belt armor considering it's a battlecruiser and in return it's not so fast, only 25 knots. That's not the strongest battle cruiser out there, I would say. Uh, still, the situation with Fran France is very frustrating. I don't know why they are blockading us, or why they are even able to blockade us. Well, they no longer blockade us, probably because we sent back the Hamburg. But still, they shouldn't be able to do so. I mean, they have three battle cruisers. We just met the. Du Cosne in combat. Well, if you want, so they have five capital ships. Yeah, well, in that case. And a whole lot of destroyers. But we will uh, cut them down in the next episode of Rule of the Waves. Thank you for watching. And if you have any suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, uh, see you again next time.